Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here today. I'm really excited about uh, the presentation today. We're over in Kosciuszko County kicking off uh, Kosciuszko County Chamber Chat. We're here with Rob Parker, the CEO and President of the Kosciuszko County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome. Thank you. Well, uh, you've been doing some great things. We've got another gentleman here. We're at his restaurant, so we'll kind of dig into that. But Rob, this is our first show. We hope to do this monthly for folks. We're, we're outside today. You may hear some rumbles of some trucks. There's nothing you can do about that. I want you to hear the birds because it's it's almost summertime and we finally got rid of those uh, winter cold and all that rain coming through. So we're happy to be over here today in Winona Lake. Tell me the name of the restaurant we're at. Yeah, so inside is Cerulean and then we're out here in the garden today. The garden. The garden's celebrating nine years out here and 13 years inside. Just incredible. Now, um, I'm going to let Rob do an official introduction of you and how you're, yep. you're related, and then I'll jump into some questions, okay? Sounds great. So, I'm, I'm Rob Parker, yep. President and CEO of the Kosciuszko Chamber of Commerce, and Scott, I just want to say thank you so much my for pleasure. this opportunity just to sit down and talk and have a conversation. Yeah. Um, it's my vision always to promote our members. Sure. Uh, that's the best thing a chamber can do is help our members yeah. become even more famous in our community. But this guy doesn't need any help at all. <laughs> so this is uh, Caleb France. He's my good friend. He yes. is also the um, uh, past chairman of the board for the Excellent. Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And um, what he's done and his vision for this community has just been infectious and inspiring. Oh, and great. so I, I just wanted to make sure that he had a voice here so that people could get to know him. So I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, like like you said, we've been here 13 years inside and nine years outside here. Um, we have a little cafe across the street and a, an event center across the street from that. So we just love this area. We love this town. Um, moved here after going to school at Taylor University in Upland and grew up in Goshen. So I've kind of nice. gone from cornfield to cornfield. To cornfield. <laughs> but now we're a little bit closer to a lake. So yeah, that's, right? that's good. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, you are a true restaurateur then, not just a guy who owns a restaurant, but you own a conglomerate here. They own me most of the time. I understand <laughs> that. And uh, of course, behind every great restaurateur of the male persuasion is a female Absolutely. who is taking care of things, that's right? That's right, yeah. And uh, let's give your wife some due credit here. What's her For name? Sure. So Courtney France is my wife and she uh, helped found the restaurant with, with me. And uh, now we have three kids. So Excellent. she's I'm the fourth kid, but she's uh, <laughs> trying to manage all of She's us, raising so. four, yeah. right. Well, that's great. Well, I spent about 20 years in the restaurant industry down in Bloomington, and uh, I did it all from the back of the house and the dish room all the way through to uh, management, and it consumes your life. Absolutely. There is no question. It's got to be a passion. It's got to be something inside your soul saying, do this, because uh, they feed us, and they make it good, and that's we keep right. coming back. So that's congratulations right. on your success. Thanks. Why Warsaw, Indiana? Why Winona Lake, Indiana? Sure, that's a great question. So my wife grew up in Winona Lake. Okay. Um, when we got done with Taylor, our, our goal was to get out of Winona as fast as possible, <laughs> like so many of us. But uh, now we can unapologetically say we're from Indiana and we love it here. Um, you know, we've always believed in community. And, uh, there, you know, when we started Cerulean, we, we were able to, to communicate that to our staff and, and, you know, our city that we do what we do to, to facilitate community and communion at the tables. And we do that through food and beverage. And so I think when you can find a place, you know, especially where you're from, right, mm -hmm. uh, or where you grew up that you can give back to and be a part and make it a better place. Mm -hmm. uh, not that it needed a lot of help, but, right. uh, you know, we were able to find our niche and, uh, and grow here and live here and raise a family here uh, and, and hopefully cook some good food in the, in the meantime. So. Absolutely. Well, I love the line. I'm going to have that emblazoned on something. Facilitating community through food and beverage. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a rough life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I will tell you, uh, Rochester's seeing a rebirth. We had uh, some restaurants come in downtown, and then uh, over the past couple of years, we've had some more come in. Akron, Indiana, another small sure. town, and I'll tell you, I was there uh, for dinner on, at 6:30 on a Saturday, and Akron was hopping. Yeah. There are people in the streets looking for places to park. That's yeah. amazing rebirth. Yeah. So, yeah. the restaurants become that center, don't yes. they, Rob? Absolutely. Yeah. And you can't find, I don't think, a, a better collection of restaurants yeah. and entrepreneurs like Caleb in a community our size around the entire country. I would be hard pressed to think there's anybody or any other community like ours with the, the quality and, and the quantity of food Fantastic. and beverages we have here. Yeah, and the choices between Warsaw and a lake. Just, and you could spend a week here and yeah. have and, a great meal every yeah. time. Every time, and, and different each time, well, completely different. Uh, we're trying to uh, kick off maybe a Warsaw TV, start to cover some of the events happening that we do in the other communities. Of course, we cover community events and public meetings, school board meetings, um, of course, kindergarten concerts. That brings in the big crowds. <laughs> uh, grandmas and grandpas from around the country watching that. But 
as I've been traveling over here over the past month, I've eaten at various places, and I will tell you every time I go back and I tell my wife about it, <laughs> and she's like, sign me up, let's get like over it. there. Yeah. So I'm glad to be here today. Now, the name of the restaurant behind us is? Cerulean. Cerulean, and Caleb just told me that that was an original color in the Cray Crayola 48 colors, right? Exactly, that's right, yeah. That's yeah. amazing, it's a shade of blue. I didn't know that, I'm gonna have to look up the word and uh, have something painted in it so that my <laughs> wife will enjoy that, but. Um, I think that's really neat and clever idea. What drew you to that in particular on that name? Yeah, that's a great question. So it was one of my wife's favorite colors growing up, so that always helps. Okay. But we also wanted to pick something a little bit abstract yeah. so that if we weren't boxed into like yeah. Caleb's Pizzeria right. or uh, you get know, sub get sandwiches it. or something. I so get we it. could explore a lot of different kinds of food. I love it. Well, the Epicureans are coming, right? And they're coming to places with culture and uh, Warsaw, Lord, Indiana is one of those places. Right. Winona Lake. Now we're out here, what's called the garden. And um, I will tell you that it is, first of all, the first time I've filmed outside in many months <laughs> Good. and sat down, so I'm glad to do that. But you can seat, I would say, what, 100 plus out you're, here? You're right, yeah, 100 outside, yeah. concerts going in the summertime. So you've got a little stage up here and we you do. do some acoustic jams out there, we some do. other things? Yeah, yeah. Great, great. Folks, I know you're going to want to know when's the concert, what's on the menu, what's the special, what's the website, I'm assuming, or Facebook that they can go to Absolutely. to find this out. Yeah, so all our, our menus are all on GardenWineOwner.com out here and okay. CerulearnRestaurant.com inside. Excellent. So. so it's two separate entities. Again, you're outside here. The restaurant is the garden. On the inside, you've got the Cerulean. Yep. I'll have that name memorized by the time <laughs> we leave. But, um, well, that's great. So what are some of the things that uh, you think bring people to Winona Lake besides the culture? Because it is cultural here. You've got glass, hand-blown glass, right. and you've got all sorts of artisans coming together here. Right. Has Winona Lake been this way for many, many, many years? Is it something that you saw forge ahead 20, 30 years ago? What's the story behind well, this? I, I'm going to start for just a little bit, and I'm going to pass it off to Caleb, who's yeah. going to know this way better than <laughs> okay. I am. But I'm a native to this area. Uh -huh. And growing up, Winona Lake was not the place okay. that I was allowed to come to as a kid because it was rough and okay. it was it was tough and interesting we, we weren't allowed to come into this section of Winona Lake now Grace College is just up the hill and it was wonderful and beautiful but it didn't really extend beyond at the top of the hill they've dramatically changed I see. and um, but really I think there's one person who drew up that vision absolutely yeah so so uh, like Rob said you know way back ago kind of in the Billy Sunday days okay. uh, there was the Billy Sunday Tabernacle here and a lot of religious history okay. and then the area kind of got depressed a little bit and uh, went through some struggles okay and then uh, a gentleman by the name of Dane Miller who also founded Biomet uh, here in town orthopedic company okay. huge orthopedic capital yep, of yep. the world now it is yep. yeah yeah yep. Dan Miller was at the head of that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, so Dane. Uh, Dane. Yeah, no, you're fine. Sorry. <laughs> Dane uh, founded this whole village down here. So uh, we've got probably about 20 different shops down here, okay. artist shops, uh, culinary destinations, obviously, uh, pottery studios, things like that. So he take, he's taken this land along the canal and developed it, and uh, him and his wife, Mary Louise, have, have just really turned it into a beautiful spot to live and, and to raise children, and it's gentrified this entire area, yeah, the entire community. Yeah. Um, and so it's really neat now to have kind of, you know, the feel of downtown Warsaw okay. with, with the lake of Winona Lake, and that synergy's just been really I love neat. it. Yeah. I love it. Well, it's beautiful out here today, as, as we've been saying, and... Uh, I'm getting hungry. I want to sit over here. I want to have a beverage. I want to have a meal. Nice and cool uh, beer outside. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know. I'm in. <laughs> Great stuff. So, uh, you know, what's next for you and, and the wife? You've got, you know, I don't know, I think you maybe have 10 or 15 minutes left a day to uh, build something else. Is, yeah, this, is this your passion? Is is this the tip of the iceberg or is there... Uh, the, is this the finish line, so to speak? Have yeah. you achieved your goals? You got more in That's mind. That's a great question. I still got a little bit of energy left, so we're, we're still thinking about what's next. I yeah. had I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always you know the next thing, the next concept, the next great. you know thing that's coming along the path. I think one of the things we're really excited about, and we've gotten to work with the chamber. Uh, I've been with the chamber six years now on the board, okay. and so that's been really fun coming yeah. to the end of my term. Yeah. So uh, that's really which sad. Is also <laughs> really sad. Yeah, yeah right. Really sad. <laughs> uh, but just to look at how much our community's changed in the last five or ten years, oh. and then to look at uh, kind of uh, you know another economic you know rejuvenation yeah. that's on the yeah. horizon. Another burst um, coming, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. So there, there's been so much movement. I think with with 
uh, from Winona Lake to Warsaw and trying to connect the two. Uh -huh. uh, and there's a lot of properties that can, can see that happen. And Excellent. I think through the chamber working on that vision yeah. uh, and, and then getting the community on board with that and, yeah. and really having a plan to move forward. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. We've got some kids walking by. I apologize <laughs> if you're picking up some of their noise. But you've got kids on a tour down here, That's my right. goodness. Yeah. So uh, great things happening. Now, talk to me about when you started the restaurant, getting in with the chamber, the chamber is always an advocate, and Rob, you'll always hear Rob advocating for the chamber and the chamber businesses, but you're also a facilitator. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that we've talked a lot um, over the years with chamber directors is they don't want to hear that your business is going under the day it's shutting its doors. Right. If you're having problems, the chamber's here to help you. Right. They've got not only their vast knowledge, but they've got other owners who've been through similar circumstances that are there to help help you through those times yeah. right yeah there's no doubt that, that that the chamber is here to really help facilitate conversation yeah. facilitate meeting people and and exchange of ideas uh, so really we want to be that glue yeah um, that conduit yeah. between businesses to make sure that we all grow yeah um, if, if we know what each other needs we can help provide that Absolutely. Uh, one of the greatest tools that we have at the chamber is called score yeah uh, so it's a group of retired executives from our community that give back on a daily basis, yep. help people with their business plans, help them find funding for That's new great. ideas. Their favorite line is, uh, you have a dream, we wanna make sure it doesn't turn into a nightmare when it comes <laughs> to starting a business. So I love that. Um, well, I love the fact that you're, you're tapping into that institutional knowledge, these people who've, who've lived it, who've been through it, and uh, you know, a lot of them retirees at this point that are coming back and saying, I've still got all mm -hmm. this knowledge, I still have value. Mm -hmm. And we know in this society, in these days and age, you know, we kind of cast people aside and, and don't value what they've been through. No. And uh, I want to encourage you all to value your elders because they know more than you do. By the way, that's my 17-year-old son I'm talking to right there. But in, in all seriousness, that's a great program, and, and you can tap into those. What are some of the things that you tapped into early on with the Chamber and would advocate for? Absolutely, yeah. So I think the thing I've learned being behind the scenes at the Chamber is yeah. just how much they are in every conversation, every community okay. conversation, and they're, they're a vital part of, you know, from, from the, the councils and the, and the mayor to, you know, small town went on the lake and, you know they're just embedded in all those conversations and I think that's what's so neat is to see Rob and the other chamber uh, members and, and team on his staff advocate for the businesses in every single one of those meetings that we don't have time to go to right yeah. or that we can't be right. at right uh, and, and to really see that firsthand over the years has really yeah. been neat and I think the value there is, is huge uh, the other thing I was just added a couple weeks ago we have a young adult professional group here. yeah uh, great, so yeah. to meet yeah. 40 other you know entrepreneurs and, yep. and businessmen and women of the community and see what their dreams are it's yeah. just there, there's just a lot of neat things happening so. well I uh, I entered my my hat into the ring so to speak as an entrepreneur years ago as a marketing I had a marketing company and I, I did some uh, websites and and if you name it marketing wise we did it and I fell in love with the video aspect mm -hmm. and eventually took that on as a career but if you're not an entrepreneur, if you've been working and somebody else has been paying you your entire life, you honestly do not know what it takes. It is 24-7, 365. In fact, it's, it's more than 24-7. We find an extra hour in there somewhere <laughs> right. because everything's on your shoulders. Every, you know, if this restaurant doesn't have people come in tonight, it's hurting. If you've got problems out here, you're the one who has to take on that burden and that responsibility. So it's nice to be able to gather with folks who can commiserate with you <laughs> and can also give you hope through those moments. That's right. um, it is a learning process as you go through it and uh, there is no guidebook, so to speak. <laughs> so it's great that you guys are bringing folks together with that at the chamber and through the chamber. Again, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, it's here to facilitate, it's here to advocate on your behalf. They want your businesses to work here in Kosciuszko County. You may be seeing this and you're in a different county. If you have questions about what's happening here in Warsaw, they're getting ready to go through another renaissance almost. I mean, you're, you feel the, the pressure mounting. Oh, yeah. You've done well and there's better out there and you're looking to, to grow again. So be sure to give Rob a, a jingle or an email up there. What is the Chamber's website? Let's make sure folks know sure. that. It's real simple, kchamber.com. Is it any simpler no, than that? No, not really, <laughs> kchamber.com, very good. 
And again, let's tell folks your uh, restaurant uh, emails address, or not emails, but there websites again. Website. Yeah, so inside we're at cerulearnrestaurant.com and out here at gardenwinona.com. Excellent. I'll put that up on the screen for you, add a little bit more work to my day, but I'll put that up on the screen so you can uh, see it and write it down. I want to encourage everybody to come out here. This is just phenomenal. We've got a great view. We're under the trees right now, thank goodness, a little bit of shade. But you've got nighttime lighting out here as well, tables everywhere. You've got a great wait staff, I'm sure. We, do, we met yeah. a couple of them earlier. So uh, just keep up the great work. And if we can help you in any way, you let us know. Okay? I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Rob, thank you. Anything thank else for the folks today? No, I just want to encourage anybody, if you have any questions, certainly reach out to us. But I'd love to see you come out here to Kosciuszko County and just enjoy one of our fine restaurants. And yeah the wonderful things we have going on absolutely well thank you guys very much folks you're seeing us we're everywhere i was in plymouth last week i'm over here in warsaw i was at riddle elementary school yesterday in akron the day before that we are becoming a more and more of a regional uh center a hub if you will for all the great things happening in north central indiana so thanks you guys for taking some time today let me branch out over here our first show from Kosciuszko county we look forward to many more of those you'll see rob next month as well so uh if you have any questions, give us a call up at RTC. Otherwise, we'll see you next time here on RTC TV4.